Hi all, welcome to War India News R. Cyber security, AI, ML and public cloud are the top priorities for CIOs. AI is changing the game for cyber security, analyzing massive quantities of risk data to speed response times and augment under-resourced security operations. As cyber attacks grow in volume and complexity, artificial intelligence is helping under-resourced security operations analysts stay ahead of threats. There is no doubt that CIOs are helping their organizations to be successful in the new world by sharpening their focus on technology investments and workforce engagement. Curating threat intelligence from millions of research papers, blogs and news stories, AI provides instant insights to help you fight through the noise of thousands of daily alerts, drastically reducing response times. As we rapidly move from functioning in an increasingly digital world to one that is digital only, CIOs have had to pivot their strategies to prioritize the online needs of their customers and employees. We have also seen digital-led customer experiences take center stage for businesses of all sizes, thus becoming key to their continuity and success. While businesses with early investments in digital technology witnessed benefits, others looked at strengthening their digital foundation or building up robust digital strategies for their long-term success. As we look to the future, it will become imperative for companies to invest in customer experience management, that is CXM, to help deliver exceptional experiences for the transformed consumer as well as strengthen their employee ecosystem. Let's look into today's headlines in VAR India. India downloads a lot of apps, uploads very few, says IT Minister. This is the moment for Indian apps to shine, said Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prashad during an event. The minister further said that Indian startups have a golden opportunity now to fill the vacuum for homegrown apps following the government's decision to ban 59 Chinese mobile apps. India has cleared all consignments after thorough checks. The government had begun 100% manual checks of all Chinese consignments last week and gave selective approvals to non-Chinese companies such as Samsung, Apple, Dell, Cisco, HP and manufacturing components for Foxconn which manufactures smartphones for China-based brand Xiaomi in its dedicated facility in Sri City, Andhra Pradesh had not received approval. It was stuck at ports and airports following a security alert that triggered Pan India. COAI ropes in SP Kocher and replaces Rajan Matthews. The Cellular Operators Association of India, that is COAI, Director General Rajan S. Matthews resigned from the Telco Lobby Group after a decade of serving the telecom sector and S.P. Kocher, former chairman of Telecom Sector Skill Council, that is TSSC, would replace him. UK and Bharti Enterprises jointly win one web deal. A consortium led by Bharti Enterprises and the UK government has won the bid for OneWeb. They would invest around $500 million each to acquire OneWeb. This move may help the consortium to complete with Elon Musk's Starlink in beaming high-speed internet from space. KKR to acquire controlling stake in JB Chemicals for over $410 million. KKR has agreed to purchase a controlling stake in JB Chemicals and Pharmaceuticals Limited in its third private equity deal in India. The deal with JB Chemicals has been in the news for the last one year. With this, JB Chemicals has an opportunity to accelerate its growth and leverage its strengths to enter into new therapeutic areas. Bike Dance could lose up to $6 billion with app ban. 
Indian government's ban of apps like TikTok, Hello and Vivo Video could result in a $6 billion loss to their parent company ByteDance. However, the source of making this kind of heavy returns are unknown, but a source close to ByteDance said that in the past few years, the company had invested more than $1 billion in the Indian market. Google acquires North to stay in line with the competition. Smart glasses could be a revolutionary item in technology and the race for the smart glasses market was likely to explode into life in the next few years. Samsung and Apple are coming out with their own glasses in the coming days, whereas Microsoft is leading the race and Google needs to strengthen the glass business. The original Google Glass could not bring more attraction for the growth. Revati Advaiti appointed as the independent director in Uber. Uber has appointed Revati Advaiti, the CEO of Flex, as the independent director of, to its board. Uber's board had agreed to expand from 11 members in the director board to 17, which was a part of a series of new decisions by the company in the past year. India will stop importing power equipments from China and Pakistan. R.K. Singh, power minister, said India will not import power supply equipments from China and Pakistan. We will not give permission for import as there could be Trojan horse malware in imports from China, which they can activate remotely to cripple our power systems, he said. We cannot tolerate a country transgressing into our territory. Geo launches video calling app Geo Meet. Reliance Geo has launched Geo Meet, a video calling app to bridge the industry gaps. It is like Zoom, Google Meet, and Microsoft Teams, and many more. About 10 different companies are into this segment. Geo Meet offers unlimited free video calls to its users. It is available in Google and Apple's App Store. The app can also be used on laptops, PCs, as well as smartphones. Finally, 98% of organizations across India have seen COVID-19 impacting business functioning with CIOs facing challenges in helping their teams to communicate effectively and having the right technology deployment to ensure smooth business continuity. In India, cloud computing with 58% and mobility 56% were named as the primary challenges. Additionally, while 97% of businesses in India initiated planning for when restrictions are eased, close to half of the organizations are still in the early stages of planning with 63% of the respondents in India being optimistic about their organization's ability to find success in the post-COVID-19 economy and committing to a positive outlook. COVID Update India records first ever over 20,000 new COVID-19 cases with the biggest one-day rise in coronavirus cases as 20,903 people tested positive in the last 24 hours. With this, the number of coronavirus cases in India has risen to 6,25,544 according to the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The coronavirus death toll in the country has risen to 18,213, while 3,79,892 coronavirus patients have been cured or discharged or migrated. Summing up, business leaders need to find avenues where large-scale integration of technology can drive efficiency and create a seamless customer and employee experience eventually adding to business growth. Almost three quarters of CIOs interviewed confirmed that they have already invested in new technologies to solve the challenges posed by COVID-19, with an overwhelming majority of 93% stating continued focus on automation to enhance efficiency in times to come. When it comes to artificial intelligence and machine learning adoption, 82% Indian organizations are already using these capabilities to implement an existing project. As for the survey of Adobe, the potential of emerging technologies such as 5G, 67% of CIOs cited as this making a major impact 
to business operations in the next five years. One fourth CIOs in India have listed data related issues as being the biggest challenge to implementation of AI in operations. Secondly, a staggering 89% of CIOs in India agreed to placing greater importance on cybersecurity issues. They also revealed that their organizations faced security related issues last year and reasserted that cybersecurity continues to be one of the most cited areas for planned investment. At the same time, many organizations plan to increase headcount across AI, ML, automation, cybersecurity and privacy, public cloud and infrastructure. Last but not the least, the current business landscape has brought forth the critical need for business to take steps towards digital transformation and ensure workplace efficiencies. Let's wind up for the day, but do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to War India News Magazine. Please download the War India app for the latest news and updates which is available on Google Play Store. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.